Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got something pretty cool to dive into. We're going to walk you through the process of installing the HyperOS. Launch your beta port right onto your Android devices that are running on Android 13 or newer. If you've ever seen those sleek HyperOS interfaces on Xiaomi phones and wished you could experience that look and feel on your own Android device, well, this is your chance. This particular port brings a ton of HyperOS features directly to your phone. It's built on the very latest HyperOS code, which means you get that modern aesthetic. And what I really love are the super smooth animations, especially that satisfying lock screen unlock animation. Honestly, there are so many little touches and features packed into this. It's hard to go over all of them in detail right now, but you'll definitely notice the difference. All right, let's get into the actual installation process. To make sure you can see every step clearly, I'll be demonstrating this part of the guide on an Android 16 device. The steps are pretty universal across Android 13 plus though, so you should be able to follow along easily. Once you've got that APK file downloaded from the link in the description, you'll wanna head over to your phone's file, manager or jest, directly into your downloads folder. Find the HyperOS Launcher APK file that you just downloaded and simply tap on it to start the installation process. Now, your phone might bring up a security prompt asking about installing from unknown sources. This is normal for apps outside the Play Store. You'll need to allow this permission for your file. Manager just for this one time. After that, simply tap Install and let your phone do its work. Once it's finished, you'll see an option to open or done. Make sure you tap done for now. We don't want to open it just yet. The final step in the installation is to set it as your default launcher. So go into your phone settings, then find apps, then look for default apps, and finally, tap on home app from the list of launchers that appears. Simply choose HyperOS Launcher to make it your new main screen. Excellent. The installation is now complete. Now, even though we showed you the step-by-step, installation process on an Android 16 device. Let's switch gears and see how it actually looks and feels in action. On an Android 15 device, this will give you a really good idea of its real-world performance and how it integrates on a version many of you might currently be running. And here it is, the HyperOS launcher running beautifully on Android 15. So there you have it, folks. A pretty straightforward guide on how to get the HyperOS launcher beta port up and running on your Android 13 Plus device. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.